Hello and welcome to Jesus for Asia Now. I'm Natalie Wood and we have special guests in the studio with me here today. We have Ramon and Sandy Tencano. Hello. Hi. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> it's been you. a while Hello. since we've seen you here. Yeah. No, it's been yeah. a while. <laughs> so tell me again, because I know we have some viewers that may be new and haven't seen your story mm -hmm. before. Where are you from? We're from Indonesia. <laughs> okay. It's in Southeast Asia. Yes. So and what do you do in Indonesia? We have a television ministry. It's a satellite television. Mm -hmm. It's the first satellite television that broadcasts Seventh-day Adventist messages in Indonesia. Okay. So Indonesia is like um, big like an American continent to Maine and From Washington. Maine to Washington. Yeah. Washington. About. And then, but we have like 60% water. 17,000 so islands. 17, 17, 508,000 island. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 17,508. Right? Yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so there's a lot of water there then. Yeah. Yes, a lot of lots islands. Lots of islands, lots of uh, languages and cultures. And then Indonesia is a big Muslim population too. Yep. Okay. And then we have satellite broadcasting Three Angels Message, 24 hours, seven days. So, you know, for, for us... For the past 10 years and a half. Yeah, for okay. us, this is a uh, miracle because we have a burden to, you know, to give opportunity for the other family, you know, for the other, what we call that? Uh, other groups of people. Other group, unreached mm -hmm. groups of people. Unreached people, people yeah. to hear, but, you know, the hope. Right. Yeah, like <laughs> right. That. So what language is your satellite television in? Because Indonesia have a national language, so we use Bahasa language, even though Indonesia have like 700... Yeah, local dialect. Local dialect, but we thank God because Indonesia have one in national language that everybody can understand. Even you know people in the interior places, you know, yep. they can even the remote it. places yes. they can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have any stories that you'd like to share of how the Lord, you know, like, has guided you in starting this ministry? Well, I mean, we may have shared these stories in the past, but yes. so it's good for us to remember yeah. how the Lord has led in the past. It's, um, we started this broadcast um, Jan well, March 2011, 11? when Jesus for Asia, when you guys came to Indonesia. Faith camp. Uh, a mm -hmm. faith camp mm -hmm. event um, that uh, you hold uh, annually. Mm -hmm. And uh, that happened to be um, in Indonesia that early 2011. And um, we just sort of uh, felt impressed by the Lord to take on the challenge when you were making the, the, the call to, to, to invite those who are interested to, to make a television. I, we had no idea about anything about television. I had no interest, honestly, but um, there's something about the challenge that kind of moved me to experiment with the Lord, you know, that working with Him to experiment what He's all about, what He can do. So we took the challenge and um, March 2011, until now, we're still on the satellite. But we remember yeah. also that, you know, why God put us this television in our um, family, in our ministry, because I remember one time that at the faith camp, I, I was so drive to have, you know, want to have the faith kind of uh, experience. Mm. So, you know, and then God brought us to uh, Papua, you know, in and the then eastern in the island eastern of island, Indonesia. and that is, you know, I being, um, I have opportunity to see, needs, you know, yeah. the needs, and then mm. I remember I've been, I praying in the in the hills that God, let me serve, let me opportunity, you know, I want to serve my people and I want to serve my country. Mm. Give me Indonesia for me, God, if That's, you're willing. That was so, about you know, a month before we start to uh, be on the satellite. And then I wow. remember when, and then suddenly when God gave us this television, I was like, wow, Ramon, I remember my prayer. I asked God if you are willing, you know, I want to serve my people and give me Indonesia. Yes. And yeah, here we he are. He says, now. okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You don't <laughs> know what you're starts, asking you for, so but here right. you go. I tell people, be careful about your prayer because <laughs> he will give it to you for sure. <laughs> okay, so you were starting this television mm -hmm. network. You didn't know what you were getting into. Nope. No. Was it like super easy? Were there any challenges, any miracles you want to share with us? Well, there, there, there are so many funny stories how we started the, 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 first one? the television that 
uh, it just convinced us that uh, God is not expecting you to be perfect, mm. for you to, to be able to shine out His love, you know, yeah. to spread the gospel. Actually, one television viewer came to us because our television was really so unprepared <laughs> and uh, we were just only broadcasting um, uh, nature videos in the beginning and then it was just so unorganized that um, one time we were broadcasting in the middle of a live show um, all of a sudden the lights went out and then behind this well, well us on the set we thought the whole thing was disconnected so we were just uh, screaming and um, you know just uh, this commotion and the in the, um, in the set that it was still on broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had a telephone call from uh, my cousin, which is far away, who was far away, reminding us, we're still on air, we're still live. It's just, that was so unprepared, we were. <laughs> and then it made so many people actually laugh. And this one gentleman who happened to be on the same set on the other island, he was just so entertained. By the <laughs> so he was watching by he was some, watching. by a happenstance or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. And then we were like running for oh, turn on the genset, turn on the lights. It was all still on live television. And then oh. the guy was uh, uh, the worst nightmare. Yeah, <laughs> he was actually watching the television. And we were like, these people in this television was so um, either they're crazy or they're honest or they're sincere or what. And then the next, <laughs> he kept, he kept on watching. Wanted more entertainment. Yeah, yeah looking yeah. for a more uh, 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 opportunity to laugh at us, you know. And then he even bring the family. And then too. he brought the family. Look at this television, you know. They're yeah. very unprepared, you know. <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> These people are just uh, wasting money to to broadcast something that is, uh, you know, disorganized. And then he keeps watching, but the the, uh -huh. the message is still there. Mm -hmm. When it's organized, he gets the message. And then uh, four years later, he came to the church. He became the, the, the Seventh-day Adventist church member until now. With he brought his brother and then his the family, family. And, then, and then I finally met him like five years later. Yeah. I went to visit his place and then he was telling all the story about our television <laughs> in front of the church and we made everybody laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... Yeah. <laughs> Humbling. Yes. Yeah. And humiliating. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> but blessing at the same time. You know? Right, yeah. right. That God can use even yes. our stumbles. Yes. yes. And of our course. unprofessionalness. Yes. yes. <laughs> to glorify His name. Yeah. Because, yeah. exactly. uh, you know, He obviously gets the glory because it was right. His message and it was That's Him right. impressing yeah. this man. You know. Because both of us, we don't have a background, right, to broadcasting this kind yeah. of things. We just, we just have the willingness because right. we want to experience you know the faith experience so you know we just have that yeah we don't have anything so you know it's remember start, that the faith experience you know the first faith experience about oh, the yeah. satellite that we yeah in the beginning we, well we, when we signed up for the satellite service we um we thought we could do this on our own you know our satellite bill at the time was fifteen thousand mm. dollars mm. and the, for the first year it was a lot but nothing compared to like you know commercial TVs. Mm. But it was already big for us to start with. Oh yeah. And then um, the following year we, I forgot what month it was. Uh, but you know <laughs> within the first year of a satellite uh, ministry, we we were faced with a satellite bill that particular month. Mm. We were finding out ourselves that we had no money that that month to pay. And then the satellite company was uh, calling us. Like, oh, sir, it's, uh, you have to pay this this today. It was You missed the deadline. I said, yes, I know, but I'm sorry. I, I can't come up with the money this today. We don't have the $15,000. And then we were expecting some money. I was calling, asking my wife, well, how do we get this $15,000? And then I, I told him, I need seven days. And then said, okay, seven days. Next Wednesday by noon, you have to pay. Otherwise, we'll, di we'll disconnect the service. Hmm. And then seven days later, we woke up in the morning that Wednesday. I said, oh, still no money for $15,000. Mm. And then I had the idea of going to the office and uh, just seeing them in person, asking for more extension. And then I, uh, we got dressed, we got in the car, we started driving just to see them you know, in person because you know the account manager is a nice guy otherwise. And then when we were on the road, we, I had a Blackberry that, um, you know, we got this email message saying that there's some money that was sent to our account hmm. uh, five days prior to that. Like, oh, well, we checked there's no money this morning. 
And then uh, we were sitting in traffic, and then I just pulled over. I was going to call the bank, and then I pulled over on the side of the road, and then I, I called the bank. Hey, I'm expecting some money that was sent last Friday. It's been like four or five days at least. Uh, where's the money now? And then the bank said, you know what, sir? It just got posted less than an hour ago. Mm -hmm. So when we were driving, it was just posted an hour wow. ago. And then the amount of money well, was sent by somebody from uh, Europe that happens mm -hmm. to be a non-Christian, not Seventh-day Adventist. He probably wasn't a believer, but he just his father died and then left him a lot of money. And then he had an impression that uh, an idea that he was going to support like humanitarian or social work in Asia. In Asia somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then he was searching, searching, and then he <clears throat> found us in the internet. Wow. And then fired the money. Exact amount of money whether we needed. Fifteen thousand dollars. Wow. That's the lie. So Yeah. It kept yeah. us going. Right. Yeah. We made the payment and uh until now we have stories like that that uh, but we haven't been taken down by the satellite company. Wow. It you know, it it just kept us going because you know, for sure, when we ask the Lord, Lord, we want to have that faith story. Mm -hmm. And then He just give it, yeah. give it to you right away. <laughs> and it, that faith story is keep us, you know, like... Yeah, you know, keeps us going. This, keep us going to see the miracles of the miracles. Because God says, you know, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. And then many of us, we just being stopped because of the crisis that mm -hmm. happens in, in our That's life. Right. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we just keep on going because, you know... In the future, you're going to see the miracles and you're going to, you know, feel that this is... You're going to get discouraged. Of course. I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't say about discouraged, but yeah. I say about the, the true uh, reward is you're going to see that you are, that we are serving the real God. Yes. Mm. You can yeah. see God work. Yes. 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 Wow. <laughs> wow. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you have a lot of stories yeah. where yes, God do, has yeah. come through at the last minute. Why does he do that? Have you figured it out? Uh, we haven't figured it out. I, I guess he just you... wants to give us, you know, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I think he wants us to be convinced that yeah. um, even though we don't get to see things in the, in the beginning, Mm -hmm. You know, what He promises will always come come true. Us, yeah. Yeah. Or maybe because, you know, like us, I don't know people, but us, we are, our background is very materialistic person. Mm. And then maybe He needs to do that to us to see that, see, that's not you, but it's yes. me. Right. Maybe it's like that. So He know. can get more glory. Yeah. And we yeah. can be reminded of our dependence. Yes. yes. Yeah. 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 That is the needs because... You know, for, for us, the need is not how God can use us, but the need is through that uh, miracle story, our heart can change. You know, mm -hmm. like when we see that, we know exactly that this is not us, Ramon. Yes. It's yeah. Him. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so as far as satellite uh -huh. and mm -hmm. 17,508 yes. islands, uh -huh. so what do you see as far as the reach of the satellite? It goes from one end of the country to the other. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in the remote mm -hmm. areas, how's that, how does it work for people out there? They just, they have the dishes to receive it and then they... Yes, uh, when, when people have the electricity in the places wow. far away, mm -hmm. remote islands, mountains, the first thing they buy is television. Mm. And then they can just buy television with, there's no local transmitters or yes. they, they have to Can't buy a satellite dish with it. Hmm. in order for them to receive any signal. And then when they buy the satellite dish, that's where we are. Okay. They could see us. And then with that, when we took on the satellite, we started to see responses coming in from places uh, that are far away, places that we haven't even heard. Hmm. Wow. For one example, we had a call from one place in Borneo, which is in the big central island, hmm. that um, when they see our television, they said, wow. This is Seventh-day Adventist television. Hmm. We used to be all Seventh-day Adventists back in the early 80s, the late 70s. Hmm. We're like, what do you mean? Yeah, now that we're, we're seeing you on the television, it's, it's so good because I know this whole village, well, more than a village, just like a whole county or something, you know. Hilarious. We used to be all Seventh-day Adventists because there's a Seventh-day Adventist pastor from America he used to come here every, you know, few times of the wow. month with the airplane. And um, I'm like, wow, that is so sad. So we, then we finally took a opportunity to to go there. We landed with a commercial airplane in a small city, and then drove down 20 hours to get to where they are. The distance is only like 150 miles. 
And then we saw there is a school, and then we're talking to, to some people, and then they said, yeah, we used to be all Seventh-day Adventists here. They showed us the... They showed us the, the airstrip mm -hmm. that, that used, to be, uh, uh, the used to be used by uh, American missionary landing there. Wow. And, um, but because of the satellite, the, you know, now... Now with the satellite, we can reach them. Although it's sad to, to see that this airstrip is not being used as airstrip. They, they built houses and they put a soccer field, they play. Mm. the planes cannot land there anymore. But they, they, from, from a lady that became Seventh-day Adventist through the service of the American missionary, I, I found out so many history that that um, they all learned about the truth, you know, through wow. the, the, the Bible lessons that were brought to them. Wow. Now what we're broadcasting is just, uh, you know, like a review again, like a, uh, mm. you know, a Refresher memory course. refreshing yeah. to no, them. No, because, because in Indonesia, if they have the electricity, they buy the television and then the, the satellite, you know, not just only one family can yeah. enjoy the television. They will invite their family, you know, all of the, the villages, neighbors. the neighbors, you know, like they can watch like 20 or 30 people inside their house, mm -hmm. you know, watching <laughs> the television. So, you know. That is how they get excited to see, you know, it's the true. message because, <laughs> and then that is the other story also because in Indonesia is like, we have a lot of islands and then it's just not easy to reach to the, you know, other church and the other church. And then it's really hard for the pastor to work mm -hmm. in the, uh, the, remote, areas, in the yeah. remote area because he needs to go to the other church and the other church, church right. is just like yeah. so, so far. far away. So through this television, you know, example, like ex every Sabbath, we have the live broadcasting, you know, like from the morning till closing. Afternoon, yeah. Till the afternoon. So, you know, they use that as a church uh, activity. And then they love to see us there, you know, like they, they just like keep on, you know, give, a, give us texting message. And then, you know, the story about there's a, you know, the other, the, the guy. And then the guy is, this is our viewers. And then we have opportunity to visit his um, city. So, you know, the, fam the family, the whole family came to visit us and then to say like, thank you for your television Aww. because because my son. my son, you know, he needs to watch your television every day because if one day he doesn't watch, doesn't watch the television, he become like so mad. And then we just like ask, like, what is wrong with him? He's so mentally challenged. He's mentally mm. challenged. And then this television really help him a lot. Because oh. not just only that, the story is what? The one that really gets me. You know, we always see, you know, uh, people reports, support to re donation, report donation, yeah. right? Yeah. And then the television report donation is just only... Well, a dollar and a half. dollar and a half every, every month. There's a, a same amount every so month. So there's huh. the banks like every same a month, like maybe one dollar and a half, and yeah, a every, half month. every single month. Huh. And then, and and then you're going. And then I'm going like, what is this? It was like somebody intentionally walks to the bank yeah. and do the cash deposit oh. into cash our account. Deposit. Every single for month. That little, for that little, that little amount. And oh. I've been praying like, Lord, I really want to see this person. Who because, this? you know, yeah. who is this? Because he is willing to, to support us, you know, like, maybe, you know, the one that I get, like, he just, like, want to give us the support. Like, just keep on doing, you know, keep yeah. on your good work. Just, you know? a, just yeah, an encouragement. Just encouragement. And then we thank God we came to the city. So, you know, the one who always support us, this guy. He's a mentally challenged guy. He's a guy. mentally challenged guy. <laughs> you know, he's watching the television every single time, every single day, and then he has that uh, com commitment that he wants to support us. So he do that. I was like, wow, yeah. I'm crying. Like, Lord, you know, thank you. Thank you <laughs> for giving us opportunity to see the needs, to see that something that the money cannot buy, you know. Yeah. Something that very encourage us that, Life is not just only having money, mm -hmm. you know, having a um, nice car, a nice house, and then, you know, having the kids can go to the expensive college or anything, education. No, this is, this is, this is the things that the money can Rewarding. Have. Yeah, this yeah. is reward, rewarding. <laughs> right. Wow. How sweet. Yeah. yeah. How sweet yeah. and so beautiful that exactly. God's Spirit was speaking to him yeah. exactly. and bringing him the calm yeah. mm -hmm. and the yeah. peace. 
we're also getting calls from people in the, in the cities, you know, or even our previous friends start to contact us also. You know, mm. they know what we're doing. You know, some of them are curious. You know, what are you doing now? You know, you got a television. Some of them, even non-Christians, you know, they're checking the the videos that we make. Mm. Some of them are really, really blessed. You know, you'd be surprised that you know mm. even Muslims can be blessed with the the message, the values that we share, mm. our life choices that we 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 have. And then yeah, and then that's why how we make reconnection with them, the people that we left from our previous life just to right. serve the Lord. Now we're reconnecting with them, you know, even through television. Right. So nice, yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, and then the Lord has started opening up another type of ministry to you. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. He led with some of those connections to yes. start yeah. uh, health. Yeah. Yes, uh, we, cycling yes, ministry. Yes. We want to right. go there. Yeah. Because we have a burden. Like, it's just not fair if we just left them, you know, like, yeah. Lord, you know, life. No, yeah, in the beginning, we were just wondering, Lord, these people that we left, we feel like, how do we reach out to them? I know. Mm -hmm. But how do we get returned to them is uh, when we're in the process of the Lord fixing ourselves. You know, I, mm -hmm. we weren't healthy people before, right? I, I, I was curious about nutrition, about healthy lifestyle, the teachings that come from our church. I, I started to learn that again, and then in the process of us fixing ourselves, I we 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 go deep into the studies of uh, you know our body functions, nutrition, and everything. And then and then from that, I got we got invited to just share, mm. just on like um, you know friendly settings, one group of people here, one group of people there, one community here, one community there. And then it leads us slowly, it was leading us slowly to, to the community of uh, active people, of course, you know, everybody mm. who is active, Exercising. They, 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 they are curious, they want to do something about their, their lifestyle conscious. and, and yeah, habits, uh, eating habits. So when we when we finally get to this group of people who were we're seeing our old friends, you know, mm -hmm. that are that we left uh, at the time it was like ten years prior to that, mm -hmm. and then now they're ten years later. They're more health conscious. They're active, and then they're asking us so many questions. And then, oh, you, what do you just come cycle with us? Come run with us? We have a triathlon. Uh, we had a triathlon community. We had First. a cycling community. We started just doing things with them again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so in the process of the Lord fixing us and our health, God is actually bringing us back to them mm. to teach them at Opening the same time on the values that we believe. Mm. And wow. then, yeah, we were challenged to, to, to present our lives this time around to them. And then, um, you know, when the Lord, I think the Lord had fixed us, you know, and then we feel the burden. Now it's time for us to actually be returned to the same group of people that we left. Hmm. And then this is our, uh, we call this our faith project. Yeah. Why we want to have like a center of influence in our place. Because we see the needs through this uh, cycling uh, community, through this sport, uh, you know, community. You know, over there is we see a lot of uh, high, high profile society mm -hmm. that cannot be rich for the, cannot be, you know, like, yeah, yeah. you know, rich for the... With the gospel. For the gospel. That easily. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, you know, how... Because there's no, there's no way to get into their no lives yeah. or into their circle. Exactly. That's right. But, you know, because through the cycling community, we just like, you know, slacking with them one hour. But after that, we can talk for two or three hours. And then they really love to have us. And then they always go to our countryside uh, place in you know in our they come and visit you yeah, and yeah. Visit nice <laughs> and then they just like Sandy you know can you you know can we stay here or you know they yeah. feel comfortable in our place I don't know why mm -hmm. they just like every time we go here we feel you know our burden is oh, go away relief, yeah. and live and then we can we can see I don't know this is different is it the food that you cook we just serve everything that, you know. That's growing around that's us. Growing around <laughs> us. And then they just like the food that you cook. We see your children. We see your few, everything. This is, they call it surga kecil. Surga kecil is like small, small heaven, heaven and earth. Aww. They call our, our place is surga kecil. And then they just like, and then from, from that moment, every time I hear that, come on, Sandy, we want to go there. We want to go there. And I tell yeah. with my husband, we need to build something for them. Yeah. For them to see, you know, like uh, for us, it's like this. 
you know, we need to go to their level because that is something that they're uh, custom, yeah, they're custom with, with, you know. Mm. And then we we need not not for us, not for us. You know why? I, why I tell this because until now, you know, I, we moved to the countryside. I bring my 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 kids. You know, my first one is eight. Now he's nineteen. He never has his own room. room. <laughs> you know, because people thought that look at you. You want to build like some. Uh, luxurious, luxurious. Uh. but no, this is not luxurious because we see the needs. They just like, come on, do it for us. And then through this pandemic, especially, yeah, they see the different. You know, one of them just like, you know, the first time we saw you, we are very curious with your choices because we know who are you. You are very modern person. And, and then, you're you know, a materialistic person. you're a materialistic person, <laughs> but your value, you know, how your value on your family, your it's value, everything is different. And then through this pandemic, now we know there is something that you know that we don't know. Yeah, mm. that's what they say. Yeah. That's, that's what they say. You know, we see you as like you are preparing something. Yeah. You know something, this world is going to happen, you know, like, you know, Sandy, you need to tell us. So, you know, with them, we cannot show them the Bible, you know, teach no, mm. we Not just need easy, to yeah. sit with them and then just, you know, so they have, you know, exposing to our choices in our mm. life. So that's and, why. And keep the connection yeah, going. Yeah, keep the yeah. connection. The friendship. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, maybe this is like a crazy uh, uh, project. project. We want to build the running track. We want to build a swimming, Olympic swimming pool. We want to build half a Olympic. half Olympic. Yeah, oh, we want half to build Olympic. half Olympic. Because so like a boys. health center, a health yeah. retreat, yes. lifestyle yeah. center kind of? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Health retreat. Uh, that is uh, kind of catered to kinda like you know catered. active people or like mm -hmm. we want to make mm -hmm. a proper gym because these are all active people yeah and when we bring them you know exercise with them we have time for them to talk you know? right yes we are right. talking talking more, talking. more communication yeah. and communion so, yeah. Yeah. and friendship building yeah. exactly all right well i really appreciate you being here with Thank us you. and sharing i know you've got other things and we'll be Sharing more on a different show, but thank you so much for being here with thank us you today. Thank you. Us. Thank you for having <laughs> us. I would like to invite you to be a part of their ministry, to participate by praying for them. Obviously, what God is doing, what He's asking them to do, is beyond human ability. And so, if you would like to be a part of their ministry, you can contact us at Jesus for Asia, P.O. Box 1221, Collegedale, Tennessee, 37315. Call us at 423-413-7321 or visit our website at JesusForAsia.org. May God richly bless you until we see you next time on Jesus for Asia Now.